womit wir bei der siebten Weltpremiere angekommen sind. Eine Studie, die in vielerlei Hinsicht Opels Zukunft zeigt. Eine Studie, die zudem die Brücke schlägt zwischen unseren Kultautos der jüngeren Vergangenheit und den großartigen Modellen der Gegenwart und der Zukunft. Mein Kollege Mark Adams wird ihn gleich präsentieren. Meine Damen und, Damen und Herren, es ist mir eine große Freude, Ihnen die aufregendste Studie der diesjährigen IAA zu präsentieren, den Opel Monza Konzept. President Opel Vauxhall Design, Mark Adams. Good morning, stunning car, isn't it? So, so what is it? Is it a coupe? Is it a sports tourer? Or maybe a GT? Well, we think of it as a, a sports brake is probably the best way to describe this body shape. With this concept car, we are clearly signaling where Opel is heading in the future. It's the perfect blend of emotion and practicality, strong virtues of the Opel brand itself. Since the launch of the Insignia in 2009, all of our models have been executed consistently to our design philosophy, which is sculpture artistry meets German precision. Today, Opel has the strongest model portfolio ever, with a wide range of our models, from the vibrant Adam to the sophisticated Zavira Tura. But as we know, we have to evolve and grow. To achieve this, we have a clear vision, and this concept is the leading light for that vision. The original Opel Monza was launched here in Frankfurt in 1977, and its design combined elegant, clever functionality with a beautiful, elegant shape. These are attributes that are true for this Monza concept too. For me, it's essential that our design philosophy remains the same over time, but that our execution evolves and remains fresh and modern. With the Monza concept, we're showcasing that next bold step on our journey where we're exploring a more athletic and lighter appearance. Like any object of beauty, this vehicle has a wonderful bone structure. Just look how a few key lines give it such tension and a strong dynamic quality. So let's go take a closer look at the car itself. Let me start at the front. You see the typical trapezoidal grille from Opel, but here we have done a new, more elegant, refined Opel Blitz bar. The headlamps are really technical and slim, giving it a very sporty appearance, but again, we have our consistent wing signature lamps. Just look at the beautiful sculpture in the car, really accentuating that center crease that is typical Opel. Moving to the side of the car, I think this is where you really see this vehicle has a dramatic statement. 
This vehicle really was inspired by the Greyhound's physique that you saw in the video earlier, with the powerful chest, the tapering thin waistline, and then the bulging powerful rear fenders here, all done within these beautiful simple shapes. Just look at this sweeping aluminium accent line that terminates beautifully again in the rear signature lamp of this car. It really does give it a very elegant and refined appearance. Now let's have a look at the clever doors on this vehicle. Let's open it up. So do you see how easy that was? You don't just climb out of the Monza concept. You actually float out. Passengers will be spoiled by these wide opening wing doors. So now let's have a look at the interior. This is a very special interior. The Monza concept interior features an industry first 3D LED production technology. The voice or steering wheel activated controls give the occupants the ability to fully personalize their environment. Using this technology allowed us to remove all the traditional screens and instead just use the wonderful sculpted instrument panel as a full width 3D display. This new Monza concept represents a brown, groundbreaking HMI philosophy providing new display technology and a unique interaction experience. In-car, car-to-car and car to car to x communication with relevant social network information are all fully aligned. So, the Monza concept is not only a beautiful car, and I hope you agree it's a very beautiful car, it's also a vision of how Opel vehicles could contribute to a more connected society in the next decade. Now I'd like to ask Carl Thomas back on stage to join me. Thank you. Martin, thank you. Ja, vielen Dank, Marc. Auch ich bin absolut begeistert von dem Monza-Konzept. Dieses Auto zeigt eindrucksvoll, dass wir bei Opel eine klare Vision haben. Eine klare Strategie, welche, in welche Richtung sich unsere Marke und unser Design sich entwickeln werden. Einige von Ihnen haben es ja bereits im Vorfeld der Messe geschrieben, nachdem wir Ihnen die ersten Bilder des Monza-Konzept gezeigt haben. Ich erinnere mich an Überschriften wie Der Monza verleiht Opel Flügel oder Der traumhafte Blitz und Ein Opel zum Träumen. Der Monza-Konzept treibt uns in der Tat weiter an. Wir werden nicht nachlassen, das verspreche ich Ihnen. Wir arbeiten hart, um jeden Tag etwas besser zu werden. Und wir sind bereits wieder deutlich erstarkt. Das zeigen Ihnen alle sieben Weltpremieren des heutigen Tages. Meine Damen und Herren, Opel ist wieder da. Vielen Dank. <lacht>